Hello everyone, I hope you've been enjoying your day so far. Thank you so much for joining today's video in which I share with you the painting process of my latest artwork, as well as some thoughts that occurred during the creative process. It was a commission that a lovely woman ordered and she wanted to have a Buddha that looks very peaceful, blissful, beautiful, compassionate, trustworthy, centered, and kind of stable within himself. And you know what's interesting? Whenever I paint a painting, there is always an internal process attached to it that I picture in colors and symbols. Like painting helps me to reflect, understand, and integrate better what I'm going through. Similar to people who um, write their thoughts and feelings down to process them and get clarity, I like to paint. Well, I also like to write my thoughts and feelings down and sometimes to make music, but I guess painting is what comes most naturally to me. And apparently that also works when I paint a painting for another person because I've been reflecting on exactly those topics for the past couple of months while I was painting it. Questions like, where do I find peace? Where do I find stability? And also, where do I find security? And when she picked up the painting, we had an awesome conversation also about those topics. And she brought up a very interesting thought concept that I've never considered that way before. And that is um, the German word for security means Sicherheit. And Sicherheit entails sich in the beginning of the word. And sich in English means self. So that to me is just the perfect description of where security is found within self. I mean, with the world constantly changing, life ever evolving and transforming, and I experiencing the ebbs and flows of that dynamic ride, um, where do I find stability? And it's pretty clear to me that the only place to go is within, because nothing outside is forever. Like, nothing lasts forever, right? But I'm always with myself, so it makes sense to me to start there and find that peaceful, stable and secure place within first. I mean, it helps to go to a peaceful place like nature. That's why I'm here in this beautiful forest, because being in a forest is one of the most peaceful things to do that I can think of but I also mean being aware of where I put my energy in every situation is crucial for example when I'm stressed out about something and I can't do anything about it in that particular moment I always come back to myself first and focus on what I can control, which is my reaction to it, which is my inner state. Instead of purely reacting, I take a moment of pause, step back and choose which step I want to take next. And in doing so, I take my power and energy back from people, situations and outer circumstances that I can't control and direct it towards what I can control, which is my reaction, my inner state, my inner peace. I mean, it doesn't help anyone if I'm stressed out, right? So I am rather very mindful of where I invest my energy. But first of all, I think it's important to know where can I find peace? Where can I find stability and security? What brings me to that peaceful place? And really for me, it's the simple things. 
simple things like listening to a good song, going outside for a walk, contemplating beautiful flowers, being in a forest, being creative. And most importantly, coming back to my body and breathing consciously. Because breathing has a direct impact on the nervous system and by breathing deeply or in a specific way, I'm able to regulate my nervous system, which means I'm able to calm down. And this is available in every single moment because as long as I live, I will breathe. And for me, it's important to do those things every single day so that I find that peaceful place within at least once a day. And stability comes from consistency too, right? So daily practice is key. For me, it always starts there. So I make sure that I find peace and my center first and then act from there. And in this way, create peace, stability and security from the inside out. And I think security also comes from trusting in myself, being secure in myself, believing in myself, my skills, my abilities to find a way and to figure things out as I'm navigating through up and downs. And by generating those qualities, I can feel that my confidence is rising as well. In addition, to me, it seems that this painting represents simplicity because there's not much going on except there's a Buddha sitting in stillness and a blurred background. But I think it fits perfectly to what I previously said that for me, finding peace is tightly connected to going back to simplicity, making things simpler, making things easier and going one step at a time. Thank you so much for watching and supporting, for being here with me and having this conversation. I really appreciate and I would love to hear from you what you have to say about that topic. So let me know in the comments down below. And I'm wishing you a beautiful day and I'm seeing you very soon.